What's going on everyone? I just got a 3D printer, so I want to know if I can 3D print a pogo stick. Let's find out. First thing I'm doing is checking Thingiverse for springs. Plastic spring. Experimental plastic coil spring. Bagel turf. Let's give this a shot. Customizable spring. Just a spring. Let's try it. This uh, might be my favorite entry. It is spring by You Are An Idiot. And the summary is you can use this spring for everything. Let's test that. Compression spring by XYZ Aiden. Let's give this one a shot. Linger. And the last one I'm gonna download here, a little different design. I have a bunch of different springs to test. Let's get to printing. Wow. First spring test. It works! That first spring worked way better than I expected. So while I'm printing the other springs, I'm gonna start designing my pogo frame here in Fusion 360. We have a 3D pogo stick. Let's see if I can print it. So I made my hole just a little bit too small. So I'm gonna drill it out. Frame, shaft, spring. Let's make a pogo stick. So my supports did not come off cleanly. So I did a little bit of sanding. So let's see, everything. Look at that. So the spring goes in. Fits through. I'm gonna use a little tiny nut and bolt as the uh, cotter pin. Okay, hold that up, push that through. Let me see if I can get the little nut on. I'm just gonna go hand tight. That should hold that in place. Boom, cotter pin. Moment of truth. Ah! Oh, slip out. I 3D printed a working pogo. Once I get all the springs printed and tested, we're gonna supersize this. 
Well, that'll do it for the first episode of Tricked Out. Episode two, supersizing this pogo stick will be right here. Other videos will be right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about my 3D printed pogo stick. And always, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, jeez. It bounced. <laughs> this is probably the coolest thing ever.